If you don't have this in your gym, you can just do straight lats pull down with a neutral grip or with a triangle grip. Yeah, so as usual, three sets on each workout, three exercises, 12 reps. I've already warmed up and the goal is to be efficient and consistent. Remember that. If you do it right, you're feeling the biceps. And also make sure you keep your chest up, arch your back, and then pull in. Don't cave yourself in. Chest out, pull in, engage your lats. Right there. So, I'm about to do deadlift, all right? And you realize on the bar, I don't, you know, lift it from the ground. Because with deadlift, the risks of injuries outweigh the reward and I'm trying to be efficient as possible. I don't want to hurt myself because I have before in a deadlift. I messed up my back, fortunately there was no maniation. So from now on, I lift from this point and to engage the lower back. So right there was upper back and here I'm going to hit the lower back. <laughs> much wider grip so I can engage the lats so the moment I begin to pull I feel it right in the lats you know and then arch my back keep it tight left spread them in the end as much as you can with a little extension on the back like a little hyper extension you know so you can have maximum contraction When I do deadlift or squat and you get a high number of reps, your heart rate can go as high as 146, 150 or even more. That's when you're lifting heavy. So you can tell from my breath. But you don't only need to be on a treadmill to do cardio. Okay, lifting weight at a faster pace, you know, can also increase the benefit of cardiovascular activity. All right, let's get it, Ted set. Alright, so 
So I'm gonna move into dumbbell rows. I can feel the pump, yeah? My muscles <laughs> are getting bigger from the pump. <laughs> All right, so next thing, dumbbell rows, okay? Pick up the weight, like that. I love that grip so much. It just hits all right. I used to love the barbell, but when I found out these, the dumbbells, it just hits all right. Cause I don't know, it's able to stretch the lats so much better. And I believe it's because of the neutral grip. That's why. your back right all the way Workout. I'm gonna move on to biceps. All right, so let's get it back in biceps. All right, guys, so with bicep curls, I like to use a bar which has a much thicker grip. Um, they got different type of bars for various exercises. A deadlift bar, much more stiff, diameter is much smaller, you know, because of the wrap and all of that. So the grip is much better, it's a bit more coarse. Um, this bar actually is, um, has the fattest grip or the biggest grip in my gym. So um, that's what I'm going to use for bicep curls. And trust me guys, if you want biceps, you want to develop good biceps, um, easy bar, no, hammer curls, no. You know, you can do a variation of all, but barbell curls, because check out something. See my hand this way? The biceps is not as contracted, but when I twist the arm, there's much more contraction. So the bicep is at its best contraction when the wrist is twisted, okay? Straight like that. So you see, you can tell, you see the difference. So at this point with the barbell, you are not able to fix your hand. It's one, one grip, one position. And for me, I've always been doing bicep curls with the barbell. I've put on 50 on both sides, 12 reps, three sets, nine seconds rest in between. Let's get it. Try not to swing into it too much. Yeah? You wanna contract the bicep as much as possible. See people, these guys be doing this in the gym. The momentum is literally doing everything for you. If I, I'm sure if I put on 100 kilos, I can easily do that using, using the momentum. Trust me, it's best to drop the weight and have a good form and then contract it all the way up shoulders retracted let the bicep do all the work let the biceps do all the work all right track your shoulders <sighs> <sighs> <sighs>
and low cheat girls her last or last week was the muscle was feeling but it's okay you can have it perfect all the time but as much as possible you want to make sure you're efficient <sighs> You want to make sure you bring it all the way down, touch your thigh, and back up. You know when I'm doing back, I like to do biceps. Secondary muscle is basically the biceps. And the, the secondary muscle supports and ensure the stability and efficiency for the primary muscles. Okay, so hence why I do back and bicep together. You know, so when I'm working the back, biceps already engaged. So when I'm done, I just hit it at the same time. So much better pump and much more efficient. That's it. So you realize one thing, I'm keeping the body as stiff as possible and bring that curl in, all right? I don't raise my elbow up like that, no. I want all the contraction to be right here. So from here, straight up like that and down. It doesn't need, it doesn't need to get to this point, okay? Because the bicep contraction is from here all the way up to here. Beyond this point, there's nothing happening. So, even if you raise your elbow, there's still nothing happening. The contraction is done. So now all you're doing is just moving your elbow. So all you want is from here all the way up here. That's it. Contraction is done. Nothing more could happen. So it's like doing a chest fly, all right? Crossing your arms isn't gonna make any much more contraction. When you get to this point, 
Arch your back, chest out. That's it. You've got the maximum contraction. There's no more you can get out of it. All right? So let's make sure you do the right thing. Keep your form right. Pull it all the way up. Maximum contraction. And when you get a pump also, that's it. Like, because I have the pump, I can't even get past this point. You know, if I didn't have the pump, probably I'll be, I would be able to get, you know, much more like range of motion. Yeah. <sighs> down and all the way up okay no half reps make sure you release the biceps all the way down allow the muscle head to stretch as much as possible and contract as much as you can all right and once again thanks guys for watching my videos i really appreciate remember to leave a like comment share and remember to subscribe check out my other videos there are more videos coming soon Oh, my.